the morning of the adventure. Right. You feeling excited, Joe? Can't wait. Where are we going? Folkstone. Yeah, and then where are we going after that? France. Yeah, and then where are we going after that? And then Germany. Yeah. And Luxembourg and Austria. Yeah. So it's going to be fun times. Yeah. Fun times. All for Wiggles is stag do. It's going to be a married man. Right. But not before the uh, the quest. Exactly. That's it, mate. Yeah. So it's nearly seven o'clock in the morning. Don't know what the date is. It's a Sunday. That's all I know. Well, it'll be the 14th, won't it? The 14th, apparently. Ish. Ish. So, yeah, just getting geared up and then uh, getting on the road. That's it, mate. That's it. All right, that's it. Let the quest begin. Well, we're at our digs in Folkestone. It took us seven hours to get down here. But, aye, oh, it's a nice little spot. So, tomorrow we set off at, well, we need to be at the terminal at 10 to four in the morning, ready for the train at six. So, um, yeah, you know the start tomorrow, and then heading off to Luxembourg to um, this camping site. Can't remember the name of it, but anyways, um, yeah, we'll catch up with you in the morning. Right, well, we've landed at the Euro Tunnel. So what's 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 cracking, Jib? What's going on? We've landed at the Euro Tunnel. We're going to the toilet. Yeah. And. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Ten minute early train, did you say? Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Sweet. Next stop, France. <laughs> Okie dokie On to the train we go On to the train we go Wow, it's uh, pretty low this, mate Oh, mate, we get a whole train carriage to ourselves Yeah, turn your front wheel into it Mean to? Say mean to me. It is stuffy as frig. Well, well, we're on the channel tunnel crossing ferry thing, which we we, we opted for the the crack and proof option um, because obviously the ferry is no go zone. And it was Joe's idea, wasn't it, Joe? Yeah, it was. Yeah, the whole carriage to ourselves. Yeah, look at this, beautiful. Beautiful. It's just uh, we just thought there'd be more bikers, didn't we? We did. Yeah. It's very stuffy in here. Yeah, well. it is very, very stuffy. Air conditioning, sound on the bike. All right, front. Here we come.
Status report, Joe. Status report, we are in Luxembourg now. Good stuff. We are now in Luxembourg. We have stopped for a brew and a slash. Hi. And we have an hour and 20 minutes left to go. That's it, that's very true. Destination. All right. Oh, I need a poo as well. Well, that's, uh, oh, I know what you're saying. Right, we managed to make it to, uh, where are we, Joe? Luxembourg. Luxembourg, at Mark Bush camping spot. It's actually really nice. Not sure if you can see that, but there's tents and caravans and stuff everywhere. There's the bikers over there. But yeah, basically, we had a friggin' thunderstorm. It happened all of a sudden, because it was like this. And it absolutely pissed down. And then I thought, do you know what? I'll just quickly just try and do up my tent and rip the bloody zip off. So all in here, it was all absolutely piss wet through. It was a shambles, wasn't it, Joe? Yeah. See, you hear Joe's enthusiasm. He was deeply hurt by it, deeply hurt. But anyways, we're gonna try and, we're gonna head into town and see if we can get something to eat. Because we're packish. <laughs> So uh, we'll catch up with you later. The camp is quiet. But we have prepared. It's about half seven in the morning. Not a bad night's sleep, to be honest. It's all right. No rain, but a shitload of mist. Everything was piss wet through this morning. Today, go to Germany, down to Stuttgart, and then uh, onto the Austrian border. We'll be camping again, so hopefully it'll give us a chance to drive all our stuff, because uh, everything's pretty soggy. I was woken this morning by lots of farting sounds, but yeah, we'll catch up with you on the road. Any final words of wisdom, Joe? What? Any words of wisdom? No. 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 Stopped off at this little garage in uh, a place called Austvart, Austvart, or something like that. But yeah, got all our gear dry out because uh, everything's still piss wet through from yesterday. But yeah, it's lovely. The weather's nice. First coffee of the day. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna head straight down to the campsite. Um, I can't actually remember where it is. I know it's on the German-Austrian border, so hopefully after this we should be able to just get there, but I think we've got like five and a half hours of driving before we do. So, um, yeah, it'll be a long road, but yeah, Germany's absolutely lovely. I can't, I've never been before and I can't believe just how nice it is. It's awesome. 
roads are amazing. The scenery is really good as well. Loads of nice little like alpine passes and stuff and yeah, it's really, really nice, really nice. So uh, we'll catch up with you on the road. on motorways you would definitely I know what you're saying oh mate my my ass is literally in tatters I'm telling you in tatters frig me oh hang on shit am I still oh bloody hell I'm still recording right Joe what are we doing where are we we are stopping for a brew at um, Spindlefinger. At Sim yeah, Spindlefinger. We have two hours and 20 minutes left to go. Alright. To the campsite. Alright. So, uh, everyone's ass was hurting, so yeah. we stopped for a quick brew. No, we've done, how many kilometres will it be? 618 kilometres, isn't it? We've probably done about 400 then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's savage. There's a lady there who's struggling with the royal, so Joe kindly helped her out. Being the gentleman that he is, that's it. the international man of mystery. Right, that's it, mate. That's it. Yeah. That's it. From the base, Austin Powers off. Well, that's it exactly. But another thing is, I want to point out. Look at this. Look, McDonald's do friggin' do king prawns with dipping stuff. That's Why don't they do that? Yeah, I, I, I'm a rastus. <laughs> um, yeah, you must be at least what 29 degrees, I reckon, something like that. Really. It's really hot, isn't it? It's good, because all our camps and stuff work. Mm. So yeah, we're going to hit the road and uh, yeah, try and get to this campsite as quick as possible. So uh, yeah, we'll catch you in a bit. constantly, it's weird. <laughs> oh, I know 
going to stay in. Well, it might be walkable, you never know. Hello, we are in Lindau, our campsite for the night. That is Wiggles. Hi, Wiggles. How hot is it, Wiggles? It is ridiculous. Ah, it's good. Like 30, well, it's got to be at least 31, 32. Frig knows, Probably. it is hot as balls, though. Balls. This is our campsite. And we're going to get our stuff set up and then go seek out a Mexican steakhouse. So, yeah. Yeah, those are the bikes just over there, nice and cosy. We will catch you in a bit. Morning. <laughs> Status report, Joe. We're having a brew. Yeah, well, you are. And, uh, well, we're about, we're about to have a brew. Um, yeah, I slept really well. We all thin slept very well. Mm -mm. And, uh, some yeah. bell and play music at fucking gone midnight. So going to Austria today. Yep, I know what you're saying. I think it's going to be another beautiful, shiny, lovely day. Right. Again, the bikes have slept time. peacefully. Joe needs a poo. Um, but yeah, seven and a half hours on the road yesterday. It was a long day. Um, so we're going to make... Yeah, hit the road early this morning. It's only three and a bit hours to um, to Innsbruck this morning. No, it's currently about ten past seven in the morning. Um, but yeah, we had um, we're staying. Where did we say we we're staying? I don't know what my brain hasn't woke up yet. I'm sure we've said it already. But um, yeah, travel into Innsbruck, go to the digs. I want to go to this thing called the Alpine Coaster. It's like a roller coaster, which is like on rails, it takes you down like a mountainside. It should be pretty damn cool. But yeah, I mean, this is a really, really nice place. It's just, uh, yeah, it's trying to find food around here is literally like Mission Impossible. You just can't seem to get hold of it. So we had to have dinner on site last night, and luckily the restaurant is really, really good. Um, so, aye. But um, yeah, we'll catch up here in a little bit, we'll be on the road anyway. Hi, welcome on to Austria. Uh, do you want to stop for the, at the spa and see if we can get some breakfast? Them to camp and soir. Ugh, you big fat bastard. I'll knock this off.
Edlarna flyger i Valhalla Om vi förgås får vi smörja bort krås För mjöden Mate, just look at this This is Riggin Paradiso I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Well, we're gonna go and get something to eat because we've not had brekkie yet, and today is the day that we must have brekkie because we've had no brekkie. You had quarter of an oat cake and a hay fever tablet. I don't think that classifies as a substantial breakfast, to be honest. It friggin' does. It friggin' doesn't. Breakfast to Kings, mate. Well, we've, just, uh, we've just stopped off at this spot because we've just seen... There's an Alpine coaster. So we're gonna, we're gonna check this shit out. See what it's about. Nice. Nice. I've been on a boat. Right, we've just mounted up on one of these things. It's a... Ski lift. Ski lift. Dumbass. Your face is a dumbass. And then we're gonna go down that. But it's uh, it said something about 22 minutes. So I'm not sure if it takes 22 minutes to get to the top, but I mean, it's not exactly that far down. You make you feel bad that you're only being held on by that. Mate, shut up. All right, That's nearly at the top, but just so you can see how high up we are. That is pretty dang high. I don't like them bouncing. And you've got a nice lake over there. Not that you can really see much, but... You've got the valley that side. All the cows have all got bells on as well. Like a cow indicator. Zone. Well, we made it to the top. What are you saying, Joe? That one. Was it good? Yeah, it was good, mate. Nice and peaceful. Aye. Oh, I know what you're saying. It's bloody warm, though, isn't it? Bloody warm. Oh, there's a play centre down there. Wow. Next, Alpine Coaster. I just don't know whether to stop for something to eat first. What are you saying? We could do food. Could do food. Do you want to try? Yeah, See what they've food. got? Yeah, yeah man. Right, we can get something to eat. Catch in a bit. Hell. Right, I couldn't turn this on at the start because they're not so keen on uh, people with GoPros, so I had to literally just wait and uh, yeah, and then whoa, whoa, man, sick! That is so good. Oh man, yeah, it's a good view though. That is a good view. Whoa, oh man, that is so cool. Whee! <laughs> Oh. oh, I know what you're saying. Oh, I shouldn't have schnitzel. I had schnitzel and chips. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Mate, this thing is rapid. Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have had schnitzel before I did this. Frig me. Whoa! If he said you can do this without breaking all the way down, I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> Oh, there's lots of strange noises coming at me. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, 
what you're saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You're saying, listen to that gay boy squeaking, but I'll tell you what, honestly, come and have a go. This is, uh, this is, whoa! <laughs> Fucking hell! Whoa! <laughs> oh dear! Yeah, I know it's, oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, is, oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah, that's, that's the way that we came up before. Oh. I can't see anybody else, so that's a good thing. This is sick. This is so much fun. That was amazing. Oh. Oh. That was amazing. Oh man, that was so good. I want to see if I can see if, uh, see Joe on his way down. If I can somehow. There he is. Oh, there he is. Mate, how good was that? Yeah, that was pretty sick. Mate, that was sick. That was good. I feel a bit sick after that, though. Well, I scared you once or twice. I bet it did, mate. Yeah. It did. It did. Right, well, should we uh, make hay while the sun shines? Yeah, on the way to the next one. On to the way to, uh, to Austria. Oh, get down. Bags are still there. Bags are still there. You know what? In the UK, mate, they wouldn't be there. They just wouldn't. Full of thieving bastards. Alright, all the gear is still there. Good. Well, we'll get sorted out and see you on the road. Rising up from the day of plunder The ale of yesterday has gone down under The battlefield awaits my soul to Odin
out for a fucking boo. Look at that shit. Just stopped off for a quick, quick drink. Just gonna uh, set off again now, so luckily, oh well, yeah, with any luck, we should be there within an hour and 25 minutes. Something like that. Who knows? How far off Innsbruck are we? 40 kilometers. 29 kilometers, I think we are. 20 kilometers. Something, something like that. But it is, it's like 30 degrees. Warm. It's really, really muggy. But even this place has got a nice, nice view of the mountains and stuff. So yeah, hopefully, be in Innsbruck within the next 35, 40 minutes, something like that. We can get our gear and loaded and then. Uh, head into town and go and look for some sausage. to our digs and uh, yeah I'll just show you what the crack is so these are our little rooms and it's nothing like amazing but yeah it's check that shit out and Innsbruck is yeah, down there somewhere behind the uh, roof of this place. I'm gonna go and take a walk around it in a bit. Because uh, it's pointless coming all this way to not do it. But it's a, such a. Oh, it's an amazing place, it's Austria, it's beautiful. But in saying that though, so is Germany. I was actually really, really amazed just how pretty Germany is. Stunning. Absolute stunning. The only problem is with this place is it's seriously, seriously busy. But yeah, gonna get washed up, sorted out, and then uh, head into Innsbruck. So we'll uh, catch up with you on the way out. Oh, there's the, uh, the supermarché. Junction. 
Made it to the uh, Innsbruck Old Town. Just about. We think. We think. <laughs> pretty sure. But uh, it's pretty much like all the shops and stuff have all closed. So, uh, what would that say? Stiff Skeller. Stiff Skeller. <laughs> nice. I don't know what's. Oh wow, that's got some. Oh mate. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go down there. That looks old. Let's go down here. Now that I know we're Yeah, yeah. Walking around with a frigging GoPro. Yeah, but I want to get it on camera, man. I know what you're saying. See, it's yeah, open. Yeah, that's all the man's stuff. Yeah, that might have Steins. Let's just, should we look down that, that road first? I think we should do all the shops with pass them. Yeah. Literally, go right. to the door. Well, I know what you're saying. I do. Yeah. I mean, if you want to see video, you can just go us walking down it, like, but really. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we managed to track down a stein, but Joe wants to shop around. Just in case. Just in case. Because uh, apparently it's good to keep your options open. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty, it's, it's a bloody busy place, though, isn't it? It's a city, isn't it? I know what you're saying. I do. Like Comes with it. Uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, so we just have to wander around and see what we can find out about here. But it's got some nice dog slanger. Nice dog slanger. Nice. Oh, there's an artist. Mate, there's just like shops. There's literally just shops everywhere. I mean, it's like where the fuck do you go? Wow, look at that over there. Look. Mm, very Catholic. That's sick, isn't it? The way it is. Right, we've tried to sack it off. We're gonna go back to the thing. My fucking balls are literally stuck to my leg. It's so freaking. <laughs> it's so warm, man. It's ridiculous. So warm. It's cray cray. Well, yeah, Innsbruck is lovely. It's just very, very busy and ridiculously hot at the minute. And uh, and we're all in bike stuff. So. Yeah, we're going to head back to the to the B&B, get some dinner, and hopefully Salzburg. It's going to be a shitty day tomorrow, but at least uh, it'll be quieter, I'm hoping. We've got to camp tomorrow night, though. So I might have to, might have to find something else, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Strong smell of fat as you walk through here. But yeah, it is a nice place, like. Yeah, it's nice. It is nice. Just absolutely busy as fuck. Left Leftwards? Rightwards. Great. Um, so, yeah. Fister. Schmuck Herman Fister. Nice. Nice. Well, yeah, we'll leave it as that.
going crazy on the back seat of that car. Oh, I can smell clutch. view from when you come to get your shopping though that is it it's all right isn't it it's tasty i don't know what you're saying but i'm leaving this way anyway because uh it's the way that i want to leave Get a nice cosy garage to park the bikes in. Hi. Hi. Right. It's a new day. And it's quite nice. There is a bit of rain in the air. But that's actually a good thing, especially after yesterday because it was uh, ridiculously warm. Have you got a status report, Joe? Morning. Um, it is morning. It We're is on morning. We're on our way to Salzburg today. This is correct. Which translates into Salt Castle because of its uh, salt trade back in the day when Wig was young. Look at this, knowledge. Yeah. Wisdom. That's why they call me the knowledgeable one. Yeah, Joe the Dodgeless, that's mm. what everybody else calls him. <laughs> is this yours? Mm -hmm. Is it damp? Yeah. Why is it damp? Because water's got on it. Dumb I know what you're ass. saying. Your face is a dumbass. I know what you're saying. So mean to everyone. Oh, it's so nice. It's still so warm, man, as well, isn't it? It is humid. Humid as frig. Well, I'm going to go downstairs and get some breakfast because, uh, yeah, I'm hungry. And we've got not that long a ride today. About four and a half hours, something like that. So, is it four and a half hours? No, four hours. Uh, well, th God, frig knows. We've just got a few hours travel. It's Joe's fault. Um, yeah, Joe still needs to get himself a stein. Stein of wonders. Stein of fortune. Stein of fortune, that's it. And then that frigging fucking clock. Bell tower. He's an absolute bastard. Bonging and fucking ringing its bells every bloody hour. It's highly frustrating. But, aye, oh, right, time for breakers.
Right, we're ready to uh, to get off. One last little scan around for the record. Oh, one thing to uh, to make a point of as well is is just to make sure that we're not called Harrogan is because Alstvart is not a village that we thought it was, was it, Joe? No. Because we saw how many signs for Alstvart. It was everywhere. It was everywhere, wasn't it? So we could only really come to the conclusion that it means junction of some sort because uh, we spent the first what, four hours riding through Germany thinking that Alstvart was an actual place and we were literally just circling around. Yeah. It was it was it was a blonde moment. Um, but yeah, heading out to uh, Salzburg, had a lovely breakfast, cheese, ham, salami, some sausage, orange juice, I think that was it wasn't it? Oh yeah, so yoghurt and some stuff, but yeah, that bastard, that bastard right there, frigging clock, going off every bloody hour. Joe slept through it, obviously, but uh, yeah, not me, so yeah, we're going to pack up and hit the road, so we'll see you soon.
these less pies but yeah I don't know what they get up to in Austria but uh, yeah the uh, the toilet comes with instructions no standing no kneeling in fact I'll show you it tells you how to use it which is kind of odd Got a status update, Joe? Give it to me, hot chocolate. Oh, is it thirsty? Yeah, I've got no water, so. Poor bee. Ah, oh, it will do. It's sugar, isn't it? It's meant to give them sugar if they Yeah, they will love it. they will love it. How far are we off Salzburg now then? Two hours and 15 minutes. Two hours and 15 ish. Traffic's been pretty slow moving. Yeah, but how's the arse? It's really sore. Yeah. But um, the scenery everywhere is like... It's amazing, isn't it? This is like an industrial type of town. Yeah, still, like, and you're like, still like right in with all the mountains and stuff. We've passed some well nice places, to be fair. Just uh, don't want the video to be overly long. Well, too long. It's going to be long enough. But, aye. Uh, well, that'll do for now. We'll catch you back on the road. In Salzburg and it's hot as frig again <laughs> definitely not as uh, definitely not as mountainous as uh, Innsbruck um, but uh, yeah the traffic's really shit so we'll do um, we'll do an, an update when we actually get to the campsite in 25 minutes it is absolutely spangled out of his fucking mind that boy me. Oh wow, that's a nice view that. Panorama, gas towels, start flicking. Panorama camping, yeah, down there. Panorama camping to Zulifties. Oh, so this is a restaurant as well, is it? Nice, Mara. Oh yeah, just for the record, Joe killed a bee. No, it didn't. You killed it. He drowned it. He took it on his own on his on his own account. He took it to one side and dunked it in his hot chocolate, and it killed it. No, nope, I don't know what you're on about. I don't know what you're on about. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Oh, mate. Fuck it, I'm just gonna park here. I think. Oh no, I'm not. I don't understand. Just don't. So this is panorama. Mate, I don't see any tents. You know what I'm saying? And I certainly don't want to fucking pitch a tent on bloody gravel. Oh. What? Mattress, no, but the air mattress is like almost as thin as I am. No, you also, no, you take off any hard stuff. I know what you're saying. I do. Well, yeah, we made it. The camp in Sch Schultzburg. <coughs> Mate, that is just ridiculous. <laughs> Why would you fart so loud in front of children? You sacrifice bees, fart in front of kids. Is there anything else dodgy that you want to tell us about? <laughs> right, we're in Salzburg and uh, we've come for have a wander around, see what it's like. 
Seems quite nice. It's nowhere near as busy as uh, as Innsbruck. Wow, mate, look at that up there. What is that? And there's like a tower thing, like a I don't know, like the old city wall or something. I could have sworn that's the, the, the biggest um, castle, biggest fortress in Europe. Is it really? I'm not sure. It has something like that, but it is fat. It is probably. I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's this old town. I think it's like go right and through or something like that. Is it? Something yeah. Like that. Okay. Good oh, stuff. Mozart. Oh, yeah, apparently that's well, Mozart. Could just be some. Yeah, look, Mo Mozart Google. That's that um, chocolate ball. Is it? So it's one of Mozart's testicles. Did he not have one ball or something? No, was that no, Hitler that had one ball? Hitler. Oh, right, so... Well, I don't know, he might have had one ball. Well, we never know, mate. He could have had one ball. Well, yeah, when we find something, we'll catch you up. Right, I'm going to have to record this on my phone because uh, the GoPro's dead. Um, face is crap. I know what you're saying. Look at it. Freak yourself. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Salzburg's really nice. It's been really busy. Uh, we've had schnitzel. 8K. Um, how did you get that? I went to the options, you dumbass. So, yeah, going back to the video. I was rudely interrupted. Um, hang on, no, it's this way. It's up here. Um, yeah, Salzburg, really nice. Been really busy. It's really it warm. Cold. It's, uh, for, a city, I mean. for a city, it's not actually that bad, but we're going to have to do it on this camera because uh, my GoPro is flat as frig. But you got the Salzburg Museum. There's the... No, I don't want to go in there because I'm just spending more money and I can't be out yeah, spending yeah, any more money or spend too much. There's a, an Austrian man playing American music for some strange reason. Singing like a... Yeah. Oh, that's Johnny Cash, isn't it? Yeah. The Mozart statue. Got pictures of that. And then, yeah, no, it's, it's actually been, it's been quite nice. Been quite nice. But yeah, as, as Joe was saying, as far as cities go, it's, uh, yeah, pretty damn quiet, to be honest. I mean, Innsbruck was just ridiculous, wasn't it? That was just fucking crazy, that. Also, it wasn't really worth going there. No, not really. It was Unless a city, you've had... whereas it's like a charming city. Well, yeah, but you needed days to go around oh, Innsbruck. Right. I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Look at these horses and shit. That's obviously piss. I know this. They actually come along Whoa, and scrub it off. <laughs> a man with some horses. So, yeah, walking down here. We had beer down here earlier. We did. It was tasty. But that's the blue balls. That's the ones that I was on about. It Joe wants really Mozart's good. balls. Mozart's balls are tasty. You brought Mozart's balls, haven't you? I did, yeah. yeah. I bought a sack of them. You brought a sack of Mozart's balls. Nice. Nice. Well, you'll need that one, yeah? You can always get one for Nicky. Oh. Two Nicky, love bark. <laughs> Have a walking stick. But yeah, we're just heading back to the bikes now anyway, so uh, I'll uh, turn this off and we'll crack on from there. Hey Joe. Stopped at the garage for a little bit of fuel and a brew. Alright. Uh, Left leaving Salzburg now. Yeah, we didn't want to record the uh, the campsite because it was pissing down this morning. So, uh, so we decided to, yeah, just get going and just tell you what the crack is on the way out. That's an interesting boss. You know what I'm saying? It's a good boss. I know what you're saying. But I mean, you just I mean the mountains are all covered in like mist and clouds and stuff. It's. I mean, we're still in. Uh, I think we're still in Austria anyway. We're not crossed over yet, have we? No, we're still in Austria. Alright. So yeah, we'll have a brew and a fag. Just wake up a little bit and then uh, we'll head out and then we're heading to Schlangenhof. Something like that. Something like that, yeah. Joe's always wanted to stay in a place called Schlong, haven't you, Joe? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Alright. We'll catch you up when we get to Schlong. Just made it to the campsite. But, um, 
the actual campsite itself doesn't open until three. So uh, we're just uh, waiting to see what time it opens. Hello. Say hello to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> this kind man's brought us some beers. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, wait and see. Wait and see what happens. Thank you, Shun. Um, but no, everybody seems like really friendly and nice and stuff, so yeah, just needs to get checked in and hopefully uh, the weather will hold out until we actually uh, get round to putting our tents up, but until then, cheers. Right, well we basically come on a, like a small, a small exhibition looking for sausage, well Joe has, and uh, we expected to find a shop, a shop we did not find. But uh, a vending machine that sells sausage and steak and other stuff like smoked bacon. I don't know what that is. Is that like some sort of like oh, black, pudding. black pudding? All different types of sausage. Al Schwitznit. Uh, Startwurst. Grillwurst. Three pack of house steaks. Well, whatever. It, it just it came up and it just said that it's a 24-hour vending or a 24-hour shop for uh, for sausage. And Joe likes a bit of sausage. Clearly, is uh yeah. So we're gonna wait for the rain to die down a little bit. Joe's probably gonna get some vended sausage, and then uh, we'll head back to the camping place. Hopefully, it'll be open so we can actually uh, get our tent up and actually get changed and stuff but yeah we'll catch you in a bit all right a brief status update it has not stopped fucking raining all night it has been shocktastic mm -hmm. to say the least what are you saying joe nothing you sure yeah you saying it's shit no no nope, joe's it's loving it it's been a good night I like the rain i know what he's saying so there is literally water leaking through the fucking tent. Definitely sounds like a view problem though. Oh, I know what you're saying, mate. You know what I'm saying? And technically it is. But how was your tent holding up? Sound. Yeah. No leakage? Nope. Bastard. Spot on mate, how's your loving life in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just tried to match snaps. So I'm not sure if you can see, but there is water pissing through my tent. Everything is fucking soaking. Personally made this tent can go frig themselves. Yeah, so not all is well in the land of Wiggles, but we will survive, because we always do. So this will be my last recording until the morning, so I'll catch up with you then. It is the morning. Status report, Joe. Putting the tent away. Is it soggy? Obviously. What's it yeah. look like? Friggin' dumber. So friggin' stroppy in the What's morning. It, like? it is it's so well. stroppy. Not stroppy. It's uh yeah, absolutely lashed it down all last night. Leaked through my tent. I got wet. It wasn't very nice. So today we're heading to a place called Cockham, which is like towards the west of Germany. Um in preparation for the uh morning the Nürburgring. ring so yeah we'll have a good crack there tomorrow um met loads of nice people like these people next to us um so it was absolutely lashing down last night and invited us in for a brew so had a cup of coffee with them that was really cool and then met another guy who made us a pomegranate tea or something that was that was that was really nice. That was really nice. Was it summer fruits or? His son made it. Yeah, his son made it. Yeah, but it was just a nice cup of tea. Yeah, pomegranate. Pomegranate stuff. And then we met a nice went to the restaurant and the Italian bloke, very enthusiastic man indeed. Had shots with him. <laughs> um, no, he was, he was a nice guy. But overall, yeah, it's been. Uh, been a good crack so far so um we'll hit the road once we're all sorted out and uh head over to cockham 
won't be much recording on the way because it's damp and shitty and it's mainly going to be motorways today again just try and get there as quick as possible but yeah we'll catch up with you when we get there lovely that's the nicest bit of road we've had for a while that isn't it right. you know what i'm saying well, we've just stopped off in this little town i don't actually know what it's called to be fair we're 25 kilometers away from cockham appropriately named camping place uh so we're just gonna have a quick brew and then we'll get going again
Right, we're now in a Cockham campsite. Very nice. You haven't had rain in how long did she say? Oh, you weren't there. I think it was two weeks we've not had rain for. And that is just absolutely ludicrous. We got absolutely fucking hammered on last night. But yeah, this place is amazing. It's really, really nice. Got low, there's all the, the lake and stuff all just over this hedge. Um, it's just pretty, pretty damn cool. Really? It's just ridiculously hot again. What are you doing with that? Take a guess. You blowing it up? Obviously. How are you blowing it up like that? Because it's got a, a blow up thing. Has it really? That's just cheating. Really? That is absolute cheating. So yeah, tomorrow, Nürburgring, and it's going to be fucking fun. It's 40 minutes that way. Super excited. Super excited. It's going to be super good fun. Yeah, super good fun. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, entertain ourselves for the evening and then uh, catch up with you in the morning. It's a lovely Dutch couple. Yeah. Called Fred and Fred, Fred and something and something his missus and they, they were a lovely couple very nice they yeah. brought us beer they did they brought us many beers smoked many cigarettes many cigarettes probably too many cigarettes uh, that's the most I've seen you smoke in a long time mate I have never smoked that much I don't think I've ever smoked like it was basically chain smoking like, it nearly chain smoking I think we they had to empty the ashtray yeah because full. we smoked that much yeah, had a uh, had breakfast. Yeah, there's even there's a sausage next to your left foot. That there is sausage. This is some wild sausage we just caught. Yeah, we caught it in the wild. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's easy to do with the uh, the sausage mating call. Yeah, it is. We yeah. Teach it in the Catholic Church. Yeah, yeah. During yeah. choir practice. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sweet. I'll see you soon. It's been a pleasant night. We've met some lovely people. We've had many beers. Um, so yeah, tomorrow is um, will be nice because we go to the Nurburgring, but we've never been there before. So we have to um, get up early because we want to get there before it opens, kind of thing. Before because we just don't know where we're going. We know how to get to the Nürburgring, but we just don't know what it is that we're doing. So just in case, get there a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, so it should be a good day. Just got to the Nurburgring, just warming up a little bit because it's fucking cold this morning. Um, have a quick fag, wait for this ticket office to open, um, have a piss. Uh, these guys have basically told us what we need to do, sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we're going to get ourselves sorted out and then um, hopefully get on the track, so it'll be sweet. Right. 
Yeah, we're at the ring. Joe, how you feeling? Can't wait. Can't wait. It's gonna be good crack, isn't it? It's gonna be good crack. I don't record you. So this is he's the smiling first like a dog with two pencils. No, I'm not smiling like a dog with two pencils. I'm yeah, saying. So we're gonna uh, wait for five or ten minutes of just open up for bikes, so we can get out on the bikes on the track. And then, um, but there's some awesome cars, man. Should we go and get a brew first? Yeah, yeah. Cool. We're gonna get a cup of tea because Joe's full of excitement. Just pumping. And then uh, yeah, and then we'll crack on. Joe, first Nurburg ring lap experience. Yeah. What are you saying? Muy bien, it was it was pretty sick actually. That was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. That was really good. Never cars. Absolutely, absolutely cruising, man. Absolutely cruising. And uh, the old GS, you know, of uh, I know what you're saying. It's it's just yeah, I just run out of lean. Like you can't lean it anymore. It's literally uh, literally at, at, at its max. It just won't friggin' it just won't bloody give you any more. So But uh Yeah no it's been it's really good crack, really good crack. It's amazing. The weather's really nice as well. It's spot on. There's loads of people from England here as well. Loads of people. Some nice bikes. Another GS. Taking the panniers off. Gonna take it out. It's a good shout, that Mara. That is a good shout. There's a few sections of the track that are quite damp. Is it? Yeah, oh, especially. Already, have you? Yeah, yeah. We've literally just come off our first lap now, and okay. then and around the back end of the track, it's so it's quite dark. So oh, just kind of yeah, damp. yeah, damp. Yeah, so just bear that in mind. Yeah, thank you. Uh, felt a little bit twitchy. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the first time you guys done it. Yeah, the very first time. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was it good, was man. Yeah. It was really good. I've always, I've always, always wanted to go on it. On the first lap. Yeah. Yeah, this is our first lap, so. Yeah. No, good, good luck, mate. Good luck. Oh, that was good crack. That was good crack. All right. Well. We'll try and uh, try and figure out how to get a camera mounted to the bikes, so then we can record the lap, and then uh, we can show you guys what the crack is. But uh, I'll catch you later. Well, we're trying to figure out how to mount this frigging GoPro to the bike because they won't let me have it on my chin. So I'm not fucking come all the way here to waste the experience. So I definitely want some way of uh, mounting it to Thank the you, actual mate. bike. I reckon strap it to that and look forward. Get an absolute ball load of tape on there. I know what you're saying. Him sound sounds bad. There's some serious cars here, mate. There's there's a serious bikeage as well. I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's just here.
towards the mountains high Forest plains of wilderness We're striking out tonight I'm towards our destiny We travel far and wide Journey through the darkness As your hearts refuse to die In the flames of hell
elusive and mysterious, Nessie is no match. The only thing in all the seas the world could never catch. With scales tough as shining steel and steel and heart and mind, across the world and back again, his body he can wind. The power of the snake will drag you down and drown you with his flesh. Beware to swim and fear to see he likes his dinner fresh. Joe, final experience, what we saying? It was sick, did some cars. We did do some cars. Did some bloody did cars. Did a Porsche. Yeah, did a Porsche. We did. But unfortunately we couldn't uh, way, we couldn't we couldn't get it on the GoPro. So we have to uh, we had to get it on the uh, on the phone camera, which is actually really good. On so the Joe cam. on the Joe cam. So uh, yeah we got some we got some good footage anyway. So we're literally just gonna uh, have a brew now and then uh, and then yeah and then we're gonna head off to uh, to france to calais now is kind of what we're gonna do so uh all right we'll uh, catch up with you on the road We made it to our digs in Calais. Just about a fucking pain in the ass to find. But it's not actually a bad little spot. Got our own little thing. The toilet for Joe's to crap in. Nice little kitchen. Um, what else we got here? Oh. No bedroom there. Lounge. And then you can pretty much see there's the water. Um, yeah, it's not a bad little spot, I suppose. Typically, to be friends, there's a fair over this side, so you can hear fucking screaming going on all the time. Bastards, bastards. But yeah, what a shithole this place is. I mean, uh, when you've come from such beautiful places like Germany and Austria to come back to this it's kind of depressing really but I suppose you've been, been living a life of luxury for the past seven days it's uh, a shock to the system but I'm tired it's been a long day today isn't it yeah it's been a long day but, um, yeah we can get some get washed up, have some dinner, and then have an early night, I think, because it's another early one tomorrow, but it's home tomorrow. So, that'd be good crack. Can't wait to get home. Right, good morning everybody. It's like half past four in the morning. 
Joe, how are you feeling? Good. Ready to go home? Yeah. Hey France? It's not the best. It's not, is it's it? Bit, yeah. Mate, everything smells of weight. It does smell weird a lot. Everything smells of weight. Yeah. It's almost as if everybody just weighs everywhere. Calais is nasty. So, France has nice places, but Calais is a hole. Calais is a shit hole. Yeah. It's, it's, just it's very similar to to England. most places in England, <laughs> yeah, but it just smells of piss. Everything smells yeah. of piss. I don't know what the fuck is going on. In fact, we, we, that corner near where I had to park our bikes, oh, it just, it the just amount of slash there was unrealistic. Un un unbelievable, yeah. Um, I think I was all the people that worked at the fair all slashed in the corner. Yeah, yeah. It was just gross, but yeah, we managed to get food check in anyway, so we've got our tickets, and so now we just need to just wait until after six to get on the train. It might board us early, I'm not sure, but we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see. But we're looking forward to going home. It's been a long trip. After we left Germany, I've just got bored. No? Like Belgium was shit, France is shit. Yeah. It just, like Germany and Austria were the absolute, like the highlight of the trip. It's, it's, like Germany was so nice, I just wasn't prepared for that. It's Germany's fault for setting the bar too high. It is Germany's fault for setting the bar too high. The people were really nice. You know, it just, like we've always been led to believe that Germans were like, like rude, arrogant, do you know what I mean? And just not very friendly at all. And that is completely fucking fictitious. That like, everyone we have met has been really nice. Everyone. Naturally, some people don't like it when you don't speak the language, but that's understandable. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but it's like that copper we spoke to this morning. You know, asking him directions and he, he wouldn't, he, he, he understood what I was saying. So it means that he understands English. Of course he does, but he just wouldn't speak English. He's just being just a, f a fucking cock. But, yeah, anyways, it's all good. We're gonna go in and have a brew, because I need a brew, badly. Um, yeah, and just get out of this piss-smelling, friggin' piss hole. I just can't, I don't like France, I don't. And as well, I got a bite on my face, friggin', I don't know what it was that bit me, but something did. Freaking wind. Mate, it hurts. Wind. Honestly, it's like it's just swollen. Wait, it's good for you. It's not. It's, don't say it's character building because it's not. Definitely is character building. No, it's not. Right. Brew time. Frig him. Right, we made it to the train. Joe, how are you feeling? Good. Top notch. Top notch. Glad to be going back to the UK. Can't wait. Can't wait. Perfect place. It is. Yeah favourite place. We met this poor fella, he's broke his ankle in Switzerland. But uh, yeah, no, it's been uh, been good crack. Looking forward to getting back. So hopefully we should be back for about, what, half twelve? Something like that? Ish. So yeah, got a few hundred miles left to do, but yeah, be glad for it. Be glad for it. It's been a good trip. It's been a good trip. I've had to stop at Lancaster Services because literally my ass is so sore it feels like I've been repeatedly bummed for days on end, honestly. Oh yeah, it is, oh my god. However, I've made that fucking thing, right? It seems soft, but it's not. It's a load of shite. You can't ride it for any longer than an hour and a half without it rotting your ass. Swap seats. As if you've got a bad bum as well. Well, exactly, so stop whinging. Yeah, well, fucking hell. Oh. It's just unbelievable. So yeah, we're gonna have a quick ass recovery stop. And then, uh, and then, yeah. And then, <laughs> oh, mate, it is so sore. I can't actually physically believe how sore my ass is. It's character building, mate. Oh, it's not, there's nothing character building about this. It's character and soul destroying is what it is. What are you saying? Like, who the fuck? has been able to ride, I mean, I know we've done like, what, the 3,000 miles, but it's supposed to be an adventure bike, a touring bike. 
This is be able to ride it comfortably it for hours on end. It is, but you now need an adventure ass. And that's, yeah, I need an adventure ass to go with it. Yeah. So yeah, we should should be home in about half an hour, something like that. But just got to, this is Lancaster Services. So we need uh, Junction 36 or the M6. But um, yeah, English people just can't drive. I'll just make that apparent. It is absolutely shocking how bad the traffic has been, just mainly due to just bell ends that sat there fucking doing nothing. But, I uh, will uh, go and get a brew because I need to stop dancing. Honestly, mate, my ass is so sore. Yeah, we'll go and get a brew. <laughs> 